Are you having a hard time finding new staff at the moment? A lot of businesses are at this point in time. And perhaps there's a different approach that you can take to make your life a little bit easier. Let's have a look at that today. G'day, I'm Jason Foss. So today what we're going to look at is um, rethinking about your marketing. So instead of attracting customers, you're attracting staff. Um, I saw this post on Instagram this morning, a local hairdresser uh, trying something different to try and attract new staff, and good on them for having a go and trying something different. Um, but I see a lot of people when they're you know, advertising for staff, it's really just, uh, is boring the right word? It's a bit matter of fact. You know, We have this position, uh, job description, whatever the case may be, and that's a bit like just putting a product listing on your website in a very matter of fact way. You know, we have this product, here's how much it is, a bit of a description. If you're not making it appealing or desirable in some way, you're possibly, you know, leaving some sales behind. So if you think about grabbing some staff, or grabbing some staff, about hiring or recruiting staff in the same way, rather than just listing the vacancy, um, you need to market yourselves as a desirable place to work. You know, uh, a lot of people will have a, a section on their website um, with, you know, with employment or careers or work with us or something else like that. And it tends to be just a listing of positions vacant. Instead, have a think about uh, what's it like to work with you? Why are you a great work environment? Why do you offer better conditions than your competition? Why should somebody come and work for you instead of working somewhere else? Think about attracting staff in the same way as you might attract customers. Like you don't just list a product. You need to actually talk about the benefits of yours, especially when you're you know, differentiating yourself from alternatives or from your competition. So if you start thinking about recruitment the same way, um, try and attract the right kind of staff in the same way as you might be thinking about attracting the right kind of customer. Who are they? Why should they choose you to work for instead of somebody else? Um, and talk about that rather than just listing the position vacant. Um, and when you talk about it, you know, the, the section on your website that deals with careers or employment uh, or job opportunities, um, you need to ramp that up a little bit so it's not just a list of positions vacant. Um, things you post on, on social media, whether it be Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, wherever, uh, position yourself as an employer of choice as a great place to work rather than just list a position vacant. Um, that's obviously not going to be a magical solution, but if you're not if you're not doubling down on marketing yourself to a potential um, employee as a you know as the desirable place to work as the the, the obvious choice of somewhere we would want to work, um, then you know that's something to think about. I don't think Google have any trouble recruiting staff members, and you know we've all heard the stories, no doubt, of of all of the the goodies that go on at uh, at Google's head office in terms of the. Uh, the working environment and the perks and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, obviously we can't all go quite that far. But uh, if things are tight um, and staff is hard to get, then you've got to think about a bit more than just putting a position vacant uh, ad out and offering a salary and, you know, uh, and not getting anywhere. So there's some food for thought today. Uh, have a think about what you're doing in terms of your marketing, whether it's also designed to attract staff. Uh, that's it for today. I'm Jason Foss. Thanks for watching. Congratulations, you made it to the end of another video. So there'll probably be another couple of videos over here uh, that, that YouTube thinks you might want to watch. And you can hit the subscribe button down here. And there's a like button down there as well uh, if you feel inclined to click that. I'll talk to you next time. See you later.